Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. So today we will talk about the structure of teeth. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So let's talk about the structure of teeth. So basically today we will talk about the structure of human teeth. And the tooth contains actually three parts. So three parts are mainly there in our human tooth. So first one is the crown, then neck and then root. So three parts are there. Okay, so if you see this picture, you can understand that this is the crown part till this and then it has the neck part and then this is the posterior part that is the root part so the anterior portion of the tooth is crown and the posterior part is root and in between root and crown here we have the neck part okay so first one is crown so crown is the visible part of tooth so it is the visible part of tooth and it projects out from the gum. So whatever the part we can see of the tooth of our tooth, the part is the crown. So only the crown portion of our tooth is visible. Okay, so this is the crown portion. And then we know that the posterior part of the root is, uh, of the tooth is root. So it is the basal part, it is the basal part. Now, it is embedded in a socket of the jawbone. So here you can see that this is the jawbone. This part is the jawbone. And here it has the socket. It has a socket or cavities in the jawbone. So uh, in the jawbone, this root, this is the basal part of the tooth. So this is embedded, right? It is embedded in the socket of the jawbone. And neck, neck is the junction of crown and root. So it is the junction of crown and root, it is the neck, okay? Okay, so then we have the dentine. So it is a tooth is made of a hard bony structure, the dentine. This is this part. This part is the dentine, it is the hard and bony structure, right? Hard and bony substance, this is dentine. And then it has the enamel. So crown is externally covered by a hard and shining layer of enamel. So the part that is a uh, shining part of the tooth that we can see the white shining part that is the enamel part. It is very hard and it covers the crown. It covers the crown, right? Okay. Then the enamel, the enamel is actually, it is the hardest substance it is the hardest substance in the body of vertebrate so this enamel is the hardest substance in the body of vertebrates now we will see the cement and periodontal membrane so periodontal membrane and cement okay so the root of the tooth is fixed to the jawbone we know that the root of the tooth is fixed to the jawbone that we know now it is fixed to this jawbone by a layer of cement and periodontal membrane. So, okay, so here we can see this is the cement part. This is cement and this is periodontal membrane. So this is the base, this is the root part of the tooth and it is attached to this socket. It is attached to this socket of jawbone via two things. One is the cement, so this is the cement part and then it has the periodontal membrane so periodontal membrane and cement are here so this is attached to this uh, our uh, this is attached to our jawbone via this cement and periodontal membrane pulp cavity so inside the tooth is pulp cavity and it contains blood vessels and nerves and the blood vessels and nerves enter the pulp cavity through its opening present and the root. So here we will see that this is pulp cavity. This is the interior part. This is pulp cavity, right? And here we can see 
that nerve and blood vessel so red one is the blood vessel and blue one is the nerve so nerve and blood vessels are coming in, in inside this pulp cavity and they are coming through the opening so here one opening is there in the root part in the base of the root here you will get one opening and through that opening nerve and blood vessels are entering toward this pulp cavity next is odontoblasts so odontoblast is a lining the pulp cavity is a large layer of bone cells the odontoblast so the lining of pulp cavity so here you can see that the pulp cavity now you know this is the pulp cavity and this is the odontoblast so these are some group of cells they are lining the pulp cavity that means this odontoblast are some cells those cells are surrounding the pulp cavity so that are odontoblast and then here we have the gum so the attachment of tooth on the jaw bones are strengthened by the gum so we know that the tooth is attached to the jaw bones and these are attached these attachment actually is strengthened by the gum so here you can see in this picture that this is gum part and this is gum part and this uh, tooth is attached with this so it is strengthened by this gum part and the upper part of the tooth that is uh, upper part of the gum we can see that part only is the that part is the crown and we can see that part only from outside okay okay so that is the structure of tooth 